I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I always have my own bag Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into the world of oud perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have my QR code up on the screen. All you have to do is scan it and hit the follow button. So without further ado, let us start with the video. I have about 10 oud perfumes here to share. You are bound to find an oud perfume that will work for you. Now, oud is also known as Akigala wood as well. It's a very rare, um, very expensive perfume note that smells incredible exotic luxurious also a little bit challenging because i find a few people have said that wood perfumes are maybe too strong for them or too pungent but there's the other flip side of the coin where there are a lot of people absolutely adore wood perfumes because one thing wood is going to do is give you that longevity so I'm not going to go in any particular order, but I've got sweet oud, I've got dry oud, I have a woody woody oud, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to start with one of the most beautiful, sweetest, inviting oud perfumes in my collection. And if you have been here for a while, you already know what this perfume is. Oud Bouquet by Lancome. This is one of my favorite perfumes in my whole entire collection. You are talking sticky sweet oud with praline, with vanilla. It is beautiful. It is long lasting. This is a oud I would describe as a friendly oud. This oud is not too polarizing. It's not off-putting. It will fill up a room. This perfume literally a little goes a long way because it's super, super sweet. But you have that oud that gives it a kick and just makes it smell absolutely delightful. Check out Oud Bouquet if you have not already. I love this perfume so much that I layer it with some of my favorite perfumes in my collection. It's a compliment beast. A compliment beast, like I said, a little goes a long way. For me, I overspray my perfumes a lot because that's just what I do. But in this case, if you are just a regular uh, perfume user, a little goes a long way because it can be a lot. This stays on my clothes for days, days and days and days. Gala's compliments, like I said, longevity is maybe like 24 to 48 hours because it literally doesn't go anywhere. It is a beautiful perfume for someone who is just starting oud or someone who is just getting into oud. And if you're someone that really loves oud, I feel like you're going to like this perfume as well. Next, we have Delina Exclusive by Performs Damali. This perfume is my holy grail. This perfume is just so dear to my heart. Now, a lot of people get surprised that this does have oud in it. You can't really detect it on first sniff. I think it takes several uses before you actually get the oud. It's ever so subtle. This perfume is stunning, feminine, pretty, powdery, rose, just extremely exquisite. I've raved about this perfume <laughs> so much that you guys that watch me often, you must be sick of me. But I'm not sick of this. So because I'm not sick of it, I'm not going to stop talking about it. Delina Exclusive is absolutely amazing. I am not going to bore you with my love for this perfume, but it does have food. You get a very subtle woodiness in the base. This perfume, it just embodies everything I feel that a woman is and it is stunning. So that is Delina Exclusive by Performance Mali. Next, we have Oud Satin Mood by MFK. I have had this perfume for maybe about a year and a half and I use it. I use this all year round. Another thing I wanted to mention, people think that Oud perfume should be worn like in the winter, but no, you can wear Oud all year round. You can wear a strong, pungent, powerful Oud in the heat because people that live in dubai <laughs> they smell like oud literally all the time most places that i've been in dubai there's always oud in the air and it smells absolutely divine so don't be fooled by the fact that it's a strong scent is a woody scent just wear your oud wear your perfume as and when you feel like it now oud satin moods it's another very sweet and beautiful oud perfume now this one 
it, the longevity i can't even it's it's beast mode it's just beast mode it's really really powerful it smells addictive it smells a little bit more refined i would say than lancome's oud bouquet um you can kind of see a slight difference in them in terms of how smooth they are they're both very smooth perfect very smooth to the nose but there's something extra like well blended with oud satin mood that i love the extract is also incredible now this is very oud forward with a lot of vanilla a lot of sweetness it's not sticky like lancome's oud bouquet this is a lot more woodier it's a lot more it's sweeter i would say but it's not stickly sweet i hope that's making sense if i i'm only comparing them because people have asked me several times how they smell in comparison to each other if you want to see a video of me comparing these two please let me know because i do get questions about them because they are both very very sweet ouds but i would definitely pick this if you are new to oud if you're wanting to experiment a little bit i would say go for this one it's one that i find to be more unisex um it's not to me a very feminine leaning scent the first time i actually smelled this perfume was on a guy and i thought the guy smelled unreal absolutely unreal so you can wear this with your man you can wear this on your own you can buy this for a man or a woman mfk has done a fantastic job with this one this to me is a lot more better than like say the baccarat rouge it's just more chef's kiss you know next we have a passion de l'amour by house of siage now this one is an exotic a fruity juicy addictive oody perfume that smells unreal this is perfect for date night this is a perfume that lasts and lasts and lasts forever people are going to smell you from a mile away it has notes of caramel you get raspberry vanilla saffron lily of the valley is full of life it's just so breathtaking in my opinion i think it's a stunning perfume and you can't oh that smells amazing and you cannot go wrong with the bottle now also siage do the most beautiful cupcakes that you feel like you just want to collect all of them but the same profile also matches the packaging i think this is one of the best wood perfumes that i have ever had my nose on so that is passion de l'amour by also siage next we have a scherzo by mila aris this perfume is one of the most complex oud perfumes in my collection. And I say complex because I've heard people not like this perfume, which is understandable because it's not the way it's described. Now, this one is normally described as like a sweet, oudy, like ambery type of scent. And I completely disagree with the ambery side of things. I feel like this one is a dry oud. It feels very... Um, not so smooth it's one that you have to really enjoy the scent of oud because it's very prominent in this perfume but this is a compliment magnet for sure every time i smell this like when you go into harrods the perfume library is it called library is the perfumes the perfume lounge or something like that not the sixth floor the one on the first floor second floor this is what it smells like. It literally smells like so in there. So every time I smell this, it evokes the Harrods memory. I feel like this is one that the Dubai girlies are wearing because it has that Middle Eastern flair that I really love. It smells rich. It smells addictive. It smells inviting. But please, 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 I beg of you, don't blind buy this because it is not blind buy safe. It is a beautiful scent. It's a unisex oud perfume that... You may either love it or dislike it. So thread carefully with this one, but definitely try and get your nose on it if you can. So that is Skirtso by Mila Aris. Next, I have another fruity oud. Now this one is Mula Mula by Baron's Parfums. Now this perfume, the bottle in itself is absolutely divine. I love this. This was love, a first sniff for me. If you like a very sweet and fruity scent, with a dash, not a dash, <laughs> with a lot of oud, you are going to love this perfume. I feel like this is another one that is perfectly unisex. I feel like with Passion de l'Amour, that is giving more feminine energy, feminine vibes. But this one is a little bit more unisex. It's exotic as well. It's one you can wear during this time of the year. Just don't overspray. A little, guys, a little goes a long way. I think 
that is the general rule for a lot of this perfume don't overdo it unless you're an overdoer like me unless you're like an over sprayer and you want people to literally smell you before you walk through the door then go ahead and do your thing but for me i would say spray carefully enjoy the scent people are going to compliment you if you don't want to get compliments then don't wear this because there's never a time i've worn this perfume that i don't get lots of compliments i also have several samples of this from the brand this was sent to me a while ago and it's been sat in my collection and because i have so many perfumes i tend to forget about some perfumes but the moment i picked this up this morning i was like yeah this is gonna be my scent of the day so that is mula mula by byron's performs next we have rose oud by kayali like check that out even matches my nails i love this perfume now it has notes of lemon geranium bulgarian rose vanilla madagascar cashmere wood and oud now those are the notes at the back of the perfume I feel like every single brand needs to do this. Now, Kiali killed it with the Oudgasm line. They killed it. I loved every single perfume, minus the tobacco one. It's amazing, but it's very masculine on me. I feel like I prefer that on a man, but my favorite is the rose one. Hence the reason I have a full bottle of it. This is a repurchase for life for me personally. I feel like this is very much a Middle Eastern princess type of scent. You get a little bit of spiciness, you get a lot of the rose, you get the vanilla, and the oud is there, but the oud, it's not too prominent. I feel like they've blended this one to perfection. If you wanted to layer it, I feel like vanilla 28 smells incredible with this one. Even vanilla oud smells incredible with this perfume i feel like the longevity on this is like 10 hours plus on my skin and that goes for all of the perfumes in the oudgasm line they are giving lasting they're giving longevity they're giving um regal they are giving quality i am obsessed with this perfume if you like a floral oud with a touch of sweetness you are going to enjoy this perfume if you want something sweet stay away there's nothing sweet about this perfume at all oud is fahan by christian dior this is oud patchouli and rose that's what i get from this perfume it is very powerful a little goes a long way it projects it lasts for days and days if you wear oud is fahan and you wash your clothes it's still gonna smell like oud is fahan for a while this perfume does not leave the clothes it does not leave your skin it is strong it's very middle eastern smelling in my opinion because i remember the first time i smelled this it was on a guy at selfridges so initially it gave me masculine energy but the moment i smelled this on my big sister this is a signature scent i started to feel like maybe it's not so masculine because it smells really good on her so definitely get your nose on this one if you can do not blind buy this is the most <laughs> unsafe blind buy on this list Please don't blind buy it. Again, it's one that I don't feel like I would ever need a full bottle of because I've got several, several two meal samples from my sister. And from times that I've gone to Dior to buy a perfume, they've always given me Oud Isfahan as a sample to take away. I really love this perfume. It literally goes a long way. I feel like the longevity on this is, is just forever. I feel like it's a great quality perfume and a lot of people are going to love it if they love Oud. Next, we have Oud immortal by byredo i don't think anyone i've ever really spoken about this i've not heard anyone talk about this perfume <sighs> this one feels very aromatic it feels very citrusy fresh and the oud here is quite strong but it's not overpowering you know the way byredo do their perfumes what i like about their perfume is that even when it's complex it's still easy on the nose it's never too sharp for the nose it's never like too much it just feels really luxurious when you spray it on when you like walk through the crowd there's something very regal and luxurious about Byredo perfumes and this one is very very lovely the only thing i will say is that this is more masculine leaning in my opinion is the reason why i barely talk about it on my channel because a lot of women watch my channel and a lot of women <laughs> Are not really into masculine linen perfume at least the women that watch me there are a few that would love this but the majority would like a little bit of a feminine leaning scent but i still wanted to put this on the list because it's very different to any other oods on this list it's got that 
super super fresh vibes like it's so so lovely almost green and minty and just super fresh the oud is very subtle it's not too loud this is just perfect honestly even if you don't like masculine linen perfume i still urge you to check this one out so that is oud immortel by Byredo. The next perfume on my list is Rose Omiade by Artelier Desors. I only have a 10 ml here and this perfume is absolutely, oh my god, it's absolutely divine. When I bought my Pink Me Up, also by Atelier Desors, I got this as a gift and I feel like this is quite a generous gift. Now this perfume is a little bit light on the oud. The oud is definitely there but it's very much in the background. What I get most is that raspberry and rose, especially in the opening. It is so sweet and beautiful. It's so sweet. It's so gorgeous. I feel like a lot of people are going to love this. To me, this is a crowd-pleasing rose perfume with oud. You also get some brown sugar. You get patchouli, gayak wood. It's such a pretty oudy scent. It's not like too strong, too pungent. I feel like out of all of the perfumes I've mentioned, I feel like a lot of people are going to like this one the most because of how gentle the oud is in here. So that is Rose Omiade by Atelier Des Ours. So my lovelies, because we have done a top 10 list, I am going to pick <laughs> my top three, which is going to be so, so tough. But here we go. I'm not going to choose the Lina exclusive. For obvious reasons because that perfume is always going to be number one in my eyes so we're going to start with the one i just spoke about rose omiette i think this is such a crowd pleaser passion de l'amour by house of siage and rose oud by keali so my lovelies that is it for today's video let me know what notes you want me to do next because i want to be doing like note series because i feel like that's going to bring value you guys are probably going to enjoy that kind of video more where i'm just focusing on different notes let me know the next one you'd like to see and i'll be happy to do that video for you thank you so much for watching please do not forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye